Uh-huh. Hello, everybody. You ca ukulele. A lizard in a bath. What's up with that? What's up, guys? We're playing ukulele. Well, apparently this guy is like, <laughs> super excited for this game. Yeah, I am. And I played for like five minutes just to test like performance. Yeah. That was pretty good. So I went ahead and reinstalled this and uh, saw the state drive in my computer just to make sure. So, yeah, let's start a new file. Great. Me, I green. personally know absolutely nothing about this game. <laughs> and anything before, because I've never played Banjo-Kazooie, or hardly any other Rare game, so... That's okay, I have a Rare replay now, so we could do all of them. Yeah. Oh. Thankfully, a friend of mine let me borrow uh, the first Banjo-Kazooie game for the N64, so I'll be playing that to help me get into the groove of things. Alright, so get ready for like the most amazing story ever. Actually, no, it, the story kind of sucks, but it's fine. See, that's Dr. Quack right there. Dr. Quack. Yeah, the one in the thing. <laughs> oh, God. oh God, he does look like <laughs> Gru from uh, Despicable Me. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, that's Capital B. Dr. Quack? <laughs> yeah, Capital B and Dr. Quack. Dude, Dr. Quack reminds me, it reminds me of that fucking, isn't there a fucking like, Curse of Cowardly Dog villain named Dr. Quack? Um, Dr. Le Quack? That French duck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and right, he's just totally being the King John Boone. He's like, look at that golden statue. Is, is, is it big enough? <laughs> so, what is he supposed to be? A bee? Yeah, it's, it's a bee. It's a big fat bumblebee? Every name in Magic Kazooie games is almost always like some pun. Fuck. What game does that as well? Like, everything is like a pun. With their names. Oh, uh, Dragon Ball Z does that as well. Well, yeah, technically, yeah. Gohan's rice, Vegeta, Vegetable, Broly. And he, Dr. Quack put like a little crappy one there so that he can feel important. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sad. He's the boss, capital B. Now we're ready to synchronize your latest profit plumbing technology, Dr. Quack. Honestly, this, this, if I. I never played this game, but I did see a let's play over it. It was uh, over Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Novelizer 64. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh, with Conqueror's Bad uh, the Fur Day, isn't there supposed to be like, a doctor like taking care of this king guy and shit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and it is exactly what it reminds me of here. That, the story in that one is like fucking stupid and I love it. Oh hell yeah. Like the whole time uh, King Panther is just trying to get a... Uh, Something that's exactly the size of a squirrel, so that he can hold up the table that keeps yeah. spilling his drink in. Yeah. His milk in. And that's the story. Yeah, that's the story <laughs> of the game. So, like, I just see this little doctor being in, like, this in a main villain here. It's like, I just immediately think of Congress <laughs> Bad Friday. Anyways, uh, basically what's happening is Capital B wants to pen the... He wants to play the alphabet. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the Z letters right there. <laughs> He wants to patent the uh, rights to books, I guess. So every book will be owned by him. And every current book is going to be stolen, including the most powerful book. Which includes magical pages that I still have no idea what they do. He stole the magic book of Merlin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Merlin's going to be pissed. Enough for our, our main heroes. A lizard and a bat. What's up with that? It's like there used to be a Jiggy on that cup. A Jiggy? Yeah, from Magic Kazooie. <laughs> oh. Well, here's the thing. Never seen it. Yeah. Like how Yuka has, uh, like, the smaller one, and uh, maybe yeah. has, like, yeah. the, the huge, uh, and what's it called? Pretty, uh, self-censored. Self-centered a little bitch, too. He has his own face on that damn thing. Yeah. Loves himself, but too much. I, I'm just wondering, like, is he as savage as Kazooie? Because when you play Magic Kazooie, Kazooie's just a fucking savage. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I love her. <laughs> Insects mainly delicious. They, they were. They're, they're just saying this. This is where they. This is where we live. I'm so oh, and there's some book uh, that I found. I don't know. And then the book disappears. <laughs> Whoa, pirate treasure! I bet that's worth loads. Yep, it looks there it antique. Goes. There it goes. Yep. Wait, it means like every single book. Oh, look, the pants magazine. Can't miss that. So books and not magazines. Yeah, those are magazines, just books. Okay, my Playboy magazines would be just fine. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're good. And your Nintendo Power magazines are good, too. Yeah. Shit, I said Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Plain. Plain. 
<laughs> Shit, I spit on the screen. <laughs> so yeah, um, Capital Beast plan is to uh, kidnap every book in the world and sell it as his because they're copyright infringing. They're basically being Konami. Oh shit, I said Konami. <laughs> it's okay, we're claimed by them already. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're <laughs> our network. They're our network. It's okay to talk about our network, apparently. <laughs> so this is where they live. They, they live on this um, tree house made of a ship, I guess. It's not a tree house, it's a ship house. <laughs> it's, it's a tree ship, or whatever. Ship tree. It, that's trouser. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, Paul, lo lovely to see you. Is his name is Trouser? <laughs> yeah. He's a trouser snake? <laughs> oh, shit. Do we know you? Of course, it's, it's me, Trouser. The honest and dexterous salesman. I thought he was gonna say sass man. Wait, what? <laughs> He's a fucking snake. <laughs> I remember, you're the crew who sold us that dodgy flat screen. <laughs> nope, not me. You're, you're surely mistaken, friend. <laughs> this guy's like has like a solid snake voice. <laughs> All snakes have a snake voice. That would have been awesome. Ah, uh, too Well, like, at least let him. The people want to watch this, like see what's going on. Uh, all he's done is teaching you how to hit. Okay. And like hit chest, and that's it. Get, bring him five quills. You, you don't open the, the, the chest, you, you fucking break them. I have a quill, one out of 200 in each world. Collect us and purchase oh new moves. Oh my god, it's alive. Every, every, that's another thing about Magic Kazooie, everything is alive. Everything is sentient. Uh, yeah. Even that chest you just brutally murdered. Yeah, some chests are sentient in, ma in, in, fa in Magic Kazooie, in fact. You just mur you just committed murder, you prepared to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I found cool? They have taunts. Nice. <laughs> so I'll be using those uh, as much as I remember. Sorry, I just need five quills and then Trouser's gonna let me through. And I have a double jump. Damn. Alright, just one more. Double jump would be pretty helpful. Yeah? Especially in platforms. I'm a tasty butterfly energy. Be nice and collect me to refill your power. <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> Do you know what we are? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and you did it right between the other ones that you collected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you, you can touch them to collect them, but you can also eat them. <laughs> ah, yes, that seems to be enough to jog my memory. Come back here. Yeah, he's gonna tell you where he found one of the pages from the book. So the butterflies is just there for energy, really. Sweet. Oh, they are turned on. Yeah. Also, since not there, it will be no custom drawn image of this game. Uh, main not reason for that was because I could not draw the damn chameleon for the love of me. All right, Charles, show me your titties. That, and I was also busy working on a commission that was hard to do, so I take that with more top priority. <laughs> Spill the beans, where's your book? Your book had it too, or the business. No. <laughs> Beyond this gate. No bones out of here. Strange things going on in there since the takeover. By the Vulver Ocelot. Tower's core. I'm headed there myself to the south south. I love to raise the gate. <laughs> yeah, I'll open the thing. Thank you, Trouser. But yeah, so I couldn't draw the damn chameleon and the bat for the life of me, so I was like, fuck it. I like the fucking uh, Photoshop thing that Warren did just for shoots and giggles, and it works great. <laughs> I keep pressing the trigger because I played the toy box, and that makes me like roll faster, but I keep forgetting I don't have that move yet. Yet. Why does it sound like he's moaning every single time? <laughs> uh -uh. That's how everyone sounds. The snake is like, -ha -ha. <laughs> oh god, the voice is gonna be so weird. <laughs> the swimming controls are a little weird, like I mentioned in my uh, toy box let's play, but you get you get used to it. Oh, god, they're like little gremlins. <laughs> they look like they're wearing little fucking uh, suits. They look even shift to the trousers. It looks like it's wearing a onesie. <laughs> Maybe they're lost. 
I doubt it. If it were us, I'm 50% of us, and I'd attack him with X. Unlike those soft shooters. Our health bar doesn't have a refill. Like Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, but it, they do attack us. They can always uh, eat a nearby butterfly by pressing B to regain some health. Eat, you know? You eat those instant butterflies for your own health. So, you know. Look like a Pez dispenser. Yeah! <laughs> I was just like, uh, what the fuck like a toy, like a squish toy. <laughs> Alright, come here, you little- Karate chop action! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought, I thought of. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's just horrifying. <laughs> oh, God, I'm loving this game. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love Vanya Kazooie when you play it. I'm not trespassing, this is private property. Shut up, Dr. Quack. This is Quack. <laughs> Hello, we're searching for a music book. It looked like it went this way. Your book belongs to us now, as most of the world supply before long. Wow. That's a weird business plan. <laughs> Are you opening a bookmobile? That'd be cool. Actually, Actually it's just, just one, one book in particular we're interested in. Now, scrap before I call security. Yeah, I killed your security just now. There's nothing not right about this place lately. We should investigate. It looks very nuclear from radiation. Yeah, but it's just like... Radiating with wards. Yeah. Or whatever, I don't know. These games are fucking weird. I love them. You can make a dictionary <laughs> out of those words. Alright, so now we're in the. What's it called? Capital B's company of books? Hivery. Hivery Towers? I don't know. I think it, hey, might, be, I think it might be pronounced Hivery because this, this might be a hive and it's a bee. Oh. Uh, how'd you get in here before us? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you again, pals. I see you've got a speed with your basic moves. <laughs> Yuka gave, him, gave himself a short tutorial on the way in. <laughs> See, the co cool thing about Magic Kazooie is they constantly break the fourth wall. They know they're in, they're fully aware they're in a game. So they're the Deadpool of this game. <laughs> yeah, both Banjo and Kazooie. And there's one of the pages. God, the pages is a smiley, and it has been totally I, badly torn. Yeah, everything sentient. But you go ahead and collect it and find out what's going on. I go myself, but I've got an important. Call coming up with a World 1 boss. It'll be like fucking Mario, where you every, kill every single block, you're actually killing like, innocent toads that have been transformed. Oh, wait. <laughs> so think twice when killing something, guys. It might be sentient. Oh my god, um. I, I find it weird to see, like, honeycombs being used for evil because in Magic Kazooie, that's like. The one thing you like, because <laughs> you're a bear, so you're still you're you eat honey for energy. Okay, I get it. I, I play Magic Kazooie. Let me let me do this, Doctor Crack. Well, they can't assume that everyone's played uh, Banjo Kazooie, so yeah. Like I think this is supposed to be like more catered towards not only towards like previous fans, but also new people who are not much, much new generation. Yeah, there should be an option that that's like, did you, have you played Magic Kazooie? <laughs> then again, I think they did something like that with Metal Gear Solid 3. Where like, uh, did you like playing Metal Gear Solid 1 or just like playing Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2? Or is this your first time playing Metal Gear Solid in general? And I mean, when I was playing the game, I said like, I, I like the first game. So I think my camera setting was more like the first game, I don't remember how it was, or that affects anything. Hello there, who might you be? I'm a pagey. I live inside the all-powerful one book. So I guess you're trying to assemble the Bible? I don't know. Well, or the the Book of the Moon from the friggin' Mummy movie. All the golden pages and shit. Capital B unlocks the power within his crooked company. Power within. He will have the power to rewrite the universe. Oh shit. Fun. <laughs> shit got intense. God damn it, Brian's book is crazy as fuck. We went from saving. Great Pirate Ryan. <laughs> like, my, my god, those rare escalates. Like, the first game is about saving Banjo's sister, the second one's from preventing Grunty from sucking up the life out of everything. And now we're preventing the entire universe to, from being rewritten. Yeah, that escalated quickly. Yeah. So this is the main thing you're trying to get. These are like the stars of, you know, ukulele. So yeah, you're trying to find more pages. Let's go. Oh yeah, and I need to speak to Trouser again. 
Hey pals, I believe I can assist you on your quest. Why did you come and uh, see me for the details? All right. Oh crap! No. Okay. No fall damage. Okay, good. <laughs> no, there is fall damage. Just like ridiculously high, but I forgot I don't have the flapping wings. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like shit. <laughs> you're you're bat. Fucking use your wings. <laughs> Fucking fly. <laughs> Looking to expand my business in new locations. How about we make a deal? For every grand tome you unlock, I'll help you. I'll help your quest with a new move, free of charge. <laughs> Sounds like a good deal, Trouser. We're in. He's talking to his client. <laughs> <laughs> Super, your first complimentary move is one of my trademark abilities. Trouser snakes. If you hold down R right trigger, you'll get the, the grab you need to roll up slippery ramps. There's one note in the small print, pals. The longer you use this move, the more you'll drain your power, your power bar. So roll wisely. <laughs> Instead of eating butterflies, you can collect uh, you can collect them to refill your power bar. So butterflies can refill both your health and your power bar. Nice. Yeah. Why don't you try it on the that? Let's go. And this game was built in Unity, the same the same uh engine that was built that was ah, like crap, I can't talk. Made. Uh is that a Unity? You know the same engine where Honey Pop was made? <laughs> I thought you were gonna bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> and Slenderman. Yeah, Slenderman and all those other cool games. Alright, let's go. So, we're gonna put Honey Pop on, right? <laughs> <laughs> Only if we do Pornhub. Speak a pagey and a cagey, just put amazing! It on my account. Just put it on my account. <laughs> Ukulele, a pagey and a cagey, amazing! No, that's not amazing. That thing is suffering. <laughs> You're a piece of paper. You can slide through the bars. <laughs> Just go with it. The more you question uh, rare games, the the worse it gets. Oh, I'm gonna keep on questioning it because I've never played a goddamn rare game in my entire life. So let's do this. Actually, no, I can't say that. I played Star Starfax Temperatures. <laughs> but that's not really much of a rare game, more than a fucking uh, Nintendo game than anything else. Yeah, Nintendo actually kind of ruined it. <laughs> yeah, they kind of did. All Nintendo right. kind of killed Star Fox. And Metroid. And pretty much everything that people have been waiting. But they're going to say, oh, but it's small Star Fox it's Zero. That can suck. <laughs> General controls and shit with your fucking thing, that's not fun. Yeah. And there's, there's, a, there's a tome right there. And it's just a fucking reboot of the first game again. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the N64 one was, and that's what the 3DS one was of the remake of the fucking N64 game. Yeah, yeah, then, then we go inside and rescue more of you, right? That's right! <laughs> You're inside, don't forget to find Trouser. Sounds like those moves he sells will help you out on your adventure. So, yeah, Trouser's, um... Uh, if you play Magic Kazooie, Trousers is bottles, basically. So yeah, I'll just unlock this. God, I feel stuff like the odd one out here. <laughs> That's fine. It's good to have someone who's never played Magic Kazooie. Because then you, you I, I like your confusion. Return later, I'll reveal more about the Grand Tomes. So let's go. <laughs> this is our first tome. Oh fuck, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead as dicks. Well, game game over, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's your loading screen to, re to reload you from the fast save. <laughs> fuck, he didn't save. <laughs> Collect the pages to progress through. See, that's the problem with... The load times are too fast because I put this on a solid state drive. Now, this music might sound familiar to some of you. This is the same music that was on the ukulele toy box. So yeah, we're just trying to collect... Uh, Pages at this point. We're on their yeah. first world. Yeah, why? Before you get too happy and excited about this, yeah, I know. We need you to pause. Because right, we'll... it's almost time for the next episode. Let me just start. capture this little fuck. Okay, okay yeah. capture this little fuck. Is that a cock? <laughs> Is that a ghost cock? Yeah. <laughs> ghost cock! There you go. Yeah. That's not a ghost cock as a ghost Whee! rider. Ghost riders, three of all five of us in treasure will trade. Wait, Ghost, wait, Ghost Rider? No, <laughs> Ghost Rider. As in, write. As in, put words on, on a thing. Okay, I read Ghost Rider, it's like, oh fuck, man, <laughs> could be a super Marvel. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode today. Uh, it was mostly cutscene, but that's fine. Well, yeah, that's how things normally start out, anyways. So, 
I uh, leave a like for uh, Banjo 3 uh, ukulele. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.